in this video, I'm going to show you yet another software. This is called GIMP, G-I-M-P, and it's for raster editing. So in our Facebook group, there are a lot of people that ask daily, or a few people that ask daily um, for an edit to a photograph. Now, I'm not going to get into the copyright, whether it's, you know, done by a professional or somebody took their own picture. You do you, and, um, you know, that's not for anybody else to worry about. So, I'm going to just show you how you can edit a photograph. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is get GIMP. So, go to Google and just type in GIMP and there is no app for this. This is a um, Windows PC or Mac program and I don't have a Mac so I can't tell you how to use it. It, it should be basically the same um, except for maybe you know instead of using control use uh, option or whatever I, I don't know I, exactly I for, I'm sorry I forget okay so go to gimp.org make sure it's .org and download 2.10 and it's gonna detect your computer or your operating system mine is Windows Microsoft Windows so I'm gonna get uh, download directly I don't want the BitTorrent okay so download directly once you click that it's gonna ask you where to save it and if you have not changed your default folder um, for downloads it's gonna go into your downloads folder but I usually save stuff to the desktop and then I decide where I want it later okay so once you've done that and installed GIMP it's gonna open like this your um, square here is gonna be all this dark color I've opened a page so I could add this text but other than that uh, then what you're gonna want to do is go to file and open and find your image now a lady posted this picture the other day in the um, the uh, Facebook group uh, 143 vinyl and she actually posted this photograph. <laughs> this one is the edit that I did. Okay, so there she wanted this chair removed. So that's what I did for her. And I asked her, could I use her video? Because I thought because of the wood floor that, you know, it would be a little bit more difficult than a typical edit because you want to try to match up the colors um, even though I can see here I didn't do the best but um, anyway it, to get it out I mean it is gone right it may not be perfect but you know you could still even crop that okay so once you have your photograph you're gonna need your brushes over here um, you can click on this little icon here and it will open up this um, window of brushes I use the third one well I don't know if the, if these are but I use this one right here okay it has it feathers out on the edges of um, my brush so that it's not a hard line okay and it works best for editing photographs like this if you don't have this icon or you can't find your brushes go to um, Windows dockable dialogues and come down to brushes and click on that and then it will show up over here all right so once you've done that and you've selected this brush then um, let's go to tools paint tools clone okay and once you've got that you can resize your um, brush size here uh, this is your brush if you hover over your image you'll see a dotted circle so what we're going to do is we're going to use wherever we hold control and click that as you can see I moved my 
mouse, but, well, I don't know if you can see it or not, but now you can, or should be able to anyway. That is going to be my source. That, wherever I click, is going to put whatever's inside this circle into this circle, okay? So if I click and drag, you can see that it follows my, um, my mouse, okay? So I just hold control to zoom in and zoom out with my mouse wheel. And then I can click down on my mouse wheel to move my image around. All right, so um, I'm going to now hold control and click here. And I'm going to start erasing this here. Okay, and then I'll probably hold control and click over here just to get some variation of color in here um, maybe left click here and come over here see how it feathers against his ear but also see that watch watch my circle right here while I left click and drag it's on his ear on the right right so if I let go you can see that it actually drew that part of the ear so I need to come down here a little bit so I'll come down here and get rid of all of this but I wanna um, you know have a little variation in the colors and then I think I can go ahead and use this to get rid of that and then I'll use this to get rid of that but I need to start that color over here because it is lighter okay and I'm running into my dog I can see that here so if you left click and drag here and you get close to your dog just let go of your mouse and it will jump back to the starting point and then you can go ahead and um, click again and finish your edit okay so then I'm gonna go ahead and come down here now this is the foot of the chair that I'm getting rid of and I'll click down here just to add some variation in there Maybe get rid of that. There we go. Okay. So let me click here and maybe make this transition a little better. Maybe add a little something there. I'm running into my dog here. I keep doing that. Let me click down here. And there we go. And that's it. It's as easy as that. So, you know, you can play around with it. You can um, do a better job than what I did. I just went through it quite quickly. Um, once you have this here, too, let me go back to Tools, uh, Paint Tools Clone. I can also hold Control and click here and, you know, do this side. I don't have to stay on this side. I can left click here and I can add that variation in over here just to get it more um, more cohesive I guess right that's it guys it's that simple um, now to save it go to file export as and then come down here to select file type and look for JPEG. JPEG image, and I'll give it a name. I'll name it Doggy because I know that I already have one saved, and I'll export. And then this box is going to pop up. Pop up. Um, quality, I save it at 100, and that's all I change there, and I export. Okay. And then I can close this out. I'll discard the changes and close that out. And then I'll go to File, 
open and I want doggy open and there it is so if you have any questions leave them in the comments below or you can find me in the Facebook group uh, 143 vinyl there's a link for that in the description below as well um, you know there's probably many ways to do this but using GIMP in this way is pretty darn easy I think you'll agree thanks for watching